I am excited tonight to be joined along with our executive vice president, Kevin Buckman. And tonight we're gonna to talk about everything that Leadership School is gonna do for you and all of the details in between. As I stand in front of you tonight, we are less than 30 days away from our monumental event, our Leadership School 2023, which is gonna be in beautiful, sunny, I believe it was 80 degrees there today, in beautiful, sunny, Hollywood, Florida. So tonight, Kevin and I are going to take you through all the details and all the things that you need to know to be ready for this monumental leadership school and some of the things that you're going to get and take away from this incredible event. The first thing I want to talk about, the first thing I want to touch on is, number one, it is critically important that each and every one of you and all of our unfranchised owners did an incredible job of this at convention. But it is critically important. I can't stress enough how critically important it is for you to pre-register on Wednesday, March 1st, to get all of your registration materials. And the registration pre-registration will be open from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the host hotel at the beautiful Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina right on the water. I can't emphasize and stress enough how critically important it is for you to pre-register, get all of your materials, go through them, and be ready for class on Thursday morning. Now, the, the Hilton, the Fort Lauderdale Hilton, the Hilton Marina still has rooms available at the host hotel. There's few, very few remaining, but there still are some available. And you can go to unfranchise.com and you'll see the banner for Leadership School right on the front page. And you can click and book your rooms today. Again, I would recommend everyone staying at the host hotel where the action is going to be going on in the evenings and the mornings and after the events each and every day. Now, let me continue on and explain and get in the weeds a little bit of why it's critically important that everyone pre-registers. This will be the first event in 31 years that we will have speakers from all across the world. We have curated the best speakers on the best topics to help educate you to grow and run your business. So you're going to hear from leaders all over the world. So what does that mean? These speakers will either have a native language of English or some of them have a native language of Mandarin. So each and every registrant or attendee at leadership school will receive a headset because if your native language is English, there will be some speakers whose native language is Mandarin and you'll have to put that headset on and vice versa. If you speak Mandarin and we have an English speaker, you'll have to have it. So this will be the first event that we've selectively curated speakers who are the best to speak on these specific topics to train, to train all of our attendees around the world. And so you're going to hear from all of these speakers from all across the world. And you'll want to get all of this stuff on Wednesday before the event starts on Thursday morning. Critically important to, re, to pre-register and get all your materials. I also want to mention that we are conducting an in-person certified training school at the host hotel on Tuesday, February 28th, and on Wednesday, March 1st. The time, it'll start at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, February 28th. You see the QR code on the screen there. You can click on that. By the way, this will be put out for replay as well, but you can click on that QR code, download the application, and attend this in-person certified training school at the host hotel at the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina. Now, I want to talk to you about how you're going to prepare for leadership school. And Kevin Buckman's going to take us through that in just a minute. But there is going to be homework assignments. There's going to be pre-homework assignments, post-homework assignments, because we are going to get in the classroom. We are going to get to work. So we're going to talk about how you prepare for leadership school. Here's a few little things that are critically important. When this event starts, after you've pre-registered on Wednesday, on Thursday morning, be ready to learn. This is going to be a classroom, interactive, hands-on, working leadership school. Three days of action-packed things that you need to know to grow your business and take it to the next level. So when you come to the event each day, dress comfortably. 
in the Hard Rock Live, which is beautiful, the Guitar Tower, it's absolutely a beautiful facility. There is plenty of area in the Hard Rock Live to purchase coffee, water, snacks, lunch, and food items in the morning that you can get and then get those items and get right into your seat on time. It's going to be critically important that we start on time because we're not going to have any time to waste. This is a action-filled and packed three days of actual leadership, classroom-style working sessions. As I said, these will be hands-on sessions, so it's important that you bring notebooks, pens, and pencils to this event. It's like you're going back to school. We're going to get into the weeds and get into all the result-producing activities, hands-on, interactive, right in a classroom style. It's going to be nothing, no event like you've ever gone to before, but it's going to be the most rewarding event that you're ever going to be in the most informative and knowledgeable event that you've ever been to. So what I want to do right now is I want to go in and dive into the three days of leadership school, Thursday, March 2nd, Friday, and Saturday. I want to dive into each day schedule. And so a couple of important things here to note on every day, please arrive early on Thursday morning. If you've pre-registered and it's critically important to do so on Wednesday, you don't have to arrive as early because doors open at 8 a.m. and you'll be able to get into the Hard Rock Live venue, which, by the way, is absolutely spectacular. It is a gorgeous venue to conduct leadership school. Couldn't be a better place to do it. But if you didn't do what you needed to do, which is pre-register, you're probably going to need to arrive at 7 a.m. because you're going to have to get registered and then get in uh, through the doors to the Hard Rock Live. So pre-register so you actually can come to the venue on Thursday a little bit later, arrive a little bit before 8 o'clock or 7.30, and you can. it's going to be no problem to get into the event without waiting in lines. But if you didn't pre-register, you're going to need to probably arrive at 7 a.m. because you didn't take advantage of it, get registered and get ready and be on time for the event. This session, this whole leadership school, ladies and gentlemen, is dedicated to the one and only J.R. Reidinger, our founder, chairman, and CEO of MarketAmericaShop.com, the man who built this business, the man who has mentored so many people, including myself, and so many people around the world. There's not a day since August 30th that all of us on our team think about, there's a, not a day that doesn't go by that we don't think about JR. And JR is not in our ear every single day. And he's always with us every second of the day with Lauren, myself, the corporate team, this event. And so is every day of our lives. And so will every event in the future. But especially this event is going to be dedicated to the man with the plan. Again, the one and only JR Reidinger. So when we start this event on Thursday, we're going to do a special tribute to JR to open up this Thursday event. This will be a tribute like you've never seen before. It'll be a tribute that you will never forget. It'll be a heartwarming. It'll be, huh, I, it's hard to explain and put it in details. You just have to be there on time Thursday morning because <laughs> we're going to open this up with the most incredible tribute to the greatest individual I've ever met. It has meant more to me and so many people around the world and millions of people around the world J.R. Reidinger. And we will be talking about J.R. and thinking about J.R. and going through all the great things. And this whole event will be what J.R. wanted it to be. He gave us a 20-page document back before last convention said, this is what we have to do at our next leadership school. We got to change it from a world conference to a leadership school. And you know how J.R. loved to write? He gave us a 20-page book on here's what you had to do, and we are implementing everything that JR has asked us to do, and you're going to see it in person at the Leadership School in Hollywood, Florida at the Hard Rock Live. So now what I'd like to do is turn it over to our executive vice president, who JR called the professor. I can't think, Kevin, of an agenda that is more tailor-made for you than this event. Than, th than this full agenda, because it's really a nuts and bolts classroom style. Everyone's going to get more than they've ever gotten out of every event. Every, all the knowledge they're going to get is going to be, it's going to be unbelievable 
what everyone's going to receive and all the information they're going to get over these three days. And I just can't think of an agenda that's more tailor made to the professor. And I'd like to turn it over to our executive vice president, great friend, brother to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to turn it over to Mr. Kevin Buckman. All right. Thank you, Mark. Um, you know, this this event, you know, this leadership school actually was being in, in the works months before we had our international convention celebrating our 30th year anniversary. Um, this was this this event was something that was at the very top of JR's mind prior to the international convention. And we'd actually discussed it for many months prior to, and uh, I didn't know he was going to turn out that document, but let me tell you what, he could write and he, he <laughs> took the notes and he was going at it. But uh, we discussed about, you know, getting back to the basics and fundamentals. You know, we talked about, you know, you know, you know, we see the slogan out there, the next chapter and everything. And he was saying, yeah, what we really need to do is the next chapter is let's reread the first chapter because the first chapter was so great. And he's correct. You know, he wanted to get back to the days when, you know, there was a lot of interaction uh, in the leadership schools. There were skits, there were demonstrations and we and a lot of workshop type activities. Jared was big on interacting with, you know, with the audience or the attendees at the leadership school. So this is really what we've tried to do. We want to fulfill his wishes and really make this, you know, you know, the kind of event that he wanted it to be. You know, we talked about we he and I, we both love the, the, the leadership school we had at the Knight Center. It was like absolutely unbelievable. Many of you seen the pictures with Jr. and the football helmet. He was the quarterback and everything. But we had a lot of fun. And he really wanted to get back into not just obtaining and securing knowledge, but he wanted people to have fun. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about leadership, defining leadership, um, you know, the differences between leadership and management, and knowing the differences. You know, we put a premium on leadership versus management, but you got to be successful. At, but, you know, you got to be able to do both in order to be a successful entrepreneur. Um, we talk about seeking a leader to be a leader. You know, a lot of, in order to be a great leader, you've got to be a good follower first. And you've got to find, you know, you need to seek out people you want to follow. You know, so the thing is, is he created he created a system, the GMTSS, so that no matter what, it didn't really matter who your sponsor was or whatever. But he created an environment or he created a system where you could seek out a leader and really, you know, acquire some of the, the, the style and everything that, you know, and be the person that, you know, the leader that you wanted to be. He also knew that, you know, this is a business. It's not a game, not a club, not a scheme, you know, not a deal, not a cult. You know, it's a business. And 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 we needed to approach the business with an entrepreneurial mindset. So that's going to be a significant topic, you know, here at the leadership school, as well as time management. OK, time, man, you know, when when someone comes into the business, they're already, you know, they're already using 24 hours a day. And what we really have to do is we're trying to carve out eight to 15 uh, you know, hours a week of quality time to invest in something that could you know, change your life. And, and we have to find that. And then we have to manage that time because we're already doing other things, having other things that pull us in different directions. So time management, you know, is very critical. So that's going to be a significant topic. We're going to have special JR uh, writing our panels you know, each and every day where, you know, leaders are going to be able to come and, and reflect a little bit about the imp impact JR had on them personally as well as, well as professionally. Um, we're going to, you know, critical defining your why, that sense of having that sense of purpose. You know, it's very critical that every single unfranchised owner to be successful, uh, they're going to have to, they have to, they really have to identify what's going to inspire them and motivate them and allow them to, you know, push through the challenges that they're going to experience in this business. It is a business. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. But the thing is, is what will power us through, give us the fuel, you know, to basically get on that journey will be, a, you know, making sure that we have that strong why, you know, base 10. OK, that's going to be another significant topic, you know, building base 10, creating that repeat retail customer base so that every single unfranchised owner is generating a minimum 
you know, of 500 BV or more per month. And remember, we're getting, we're not only going to get into the what and the why with respect to these, these topics, but we're really going to concentrate and focus on the how. OK, uh, every single uh, topic that I'm going over, we're looking to have unfranchised owners, successful unfranchised owners, you know, share their experiences with how, you know, how they implemented and executed, you know, the various topics that we're discussing. We're going to look for uh, having workshop activities where the all the attendees are going to be, you know, interacting with the person presenting, and you're actually going to be doing things, you know, in, in your seat while you're doing it, filling out forms, filling out, you know, worksheets that you be, uh, you know, be given when you first registration, you know, register, you know, for the event. And that goes back to what Jer, uh, Jer, what Mark was saying is that, you know, you got to get there early pre-register because we've got registration packets with, you know, a stack of handouts that you're going to actually need and use, you know, throughout the event. Okay. Um, BV and uh, a new IBV cashback enhancements. Uh, you're going to have shop.com online business building tools that are going to be introduced, you know, with respect to the new da online dashboard. Uh, we're going to have some management reports, things like this. You got, you want, you want to be there. Okay. Uh, new product launches, you know, will be introduced. And again, we'll have special presentation from Frat Joe and maybe others. Uh, so you, it, it's going to be action packed, entertaining, uh, you know, high energy event. And, uh, it's going to be one that, uh, I'm, I'm excited about. I don't get excited about much, but I'm excited about this, you know, and, you know, the, the idea of creating a culture of accountability, you know, making sure that everybody realizes that they're, you know, they're res responsible. Okay. They're responsible and accountable to something greater than just themselves. Okay. They're part of a team. And, you know, a lot of times people real think that, uh, when they don't do what they're supposed to do, and they don't, you know, achieve any results, that's okay. But when you're part of a team, it's not okay because their teammates are depending on you. Okay. So creating that culture of accountability within your organization is critical. And then UFO, you know, we'll have recognition for UFO pin levels as well as challenge winners. All right. Uh, prospecting, qualifying, sponsoring. OK. Uh, and, and the ABC pattern of building depth within the organization. Prospecting, it needs to be the number one, the number one thing on our mind going into 2023. Exposing to the, the business to as many people as possible, you know, uh, to see whether or not, you know, they're looking for something to do in addition to what they're currently doing in order to obtain something more out of life. OK. We'll have goal setting corings with the teams. OK. And again, another special, you know, uh, JR writing or panel where we're, you know, people will be able to reflect. And, uh, you know, I'll be doing that in some of the talks that I do. I'm going to be going, you know, I'll hit certain items. And I was thinking last night, you know, you know, he he implemented this and, and so that we could do this. And it'd be like word, one word associations. Um, so I've got some more activities and then we'll have a special close by, of course, Lauren Ridinger. So it's going it, to I just cannot tell you now you've got weeks before we get there. And I think everybody needs to really put out a hard push, you know, finish strong and get as many people, many people within your organization, uh, you know, to this event. Now. For those that uh, uh, achieved the chairman's challenge, we're going to have a reception aboard Utopia 4 on Saturday at 8 p.m., uh, something very special. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and so those individuals that achieved the chairman's challenge, congratulations. And uh, we're going to have a special reception for you. And, and uh, course, I know it'll be great. And of course, uh, Kevin, this is a special one, you know, being yeah, oh, yeah. Show, right? very special. And uh, so there, there, there's going to be this is this is going to be a lot different than anything we've experienced, you know, and this is something Jr. wanted Jr. wanted to do. He really wanted to get back, make it a smaller attendee, smaller venue, really, you know, make it more of an up close and personal type, 
you know, of event to where not only not only are we imparting knowledge and and having the you know interaction and the work activities with the attendees, but it, it really you know it, it would be more conducive to you know developing that strong relationship with one another. And Kevin, being the professor, I wouldn't expect anything less of you than to uh, give out homework to all. Oh, of let me tell you what, I was just be prepared yeah. for this event. I'm I was going to say congr- congratulations for those that hit the challenge. You're going to get to go to the challenge reception, but I've got something for everybody else. Don't worry. You're not going to go away, at least n- not today, empty handed. You're going to get homework. OK, everybody's going to get homework. Now, what we're going to do is we've got, you know, we have a whole set of handouts and, and forms that you're going to need, you know, to actually participate in the activities that are going to be going on. Uh, and uh, so the thing is, is we're going to we're going to send out electronically. We're going to send out electronically via email all of the handouts that you're going to need. OK, for the event. And what we want you to do is you know, take a shot at filling these out, really going to work and doing this homework before you come, you know, to the event. Now, at registration, as Mark said, get there early. You're going to have to get your headsets, but you'll get a fresh packet, okay, of handouts that are blank. But the point is, is you need to come prepared. You need to have already done the homework and really tried so that we were reducing the learning curve when you get there. So we hit the ground running. Okay. Now that brings me to another thing real quick. Okay. Make sure, okay, that you have, when you bought your ticket, make sure you've assigned your ticket. Okay. To yourself. If you sold some of your tickets to team members or non-team members, it doesn't really matter, but make sure you've assigned those tickets because we're going to take all of the tickets that have been assigned. And that's how we're going to gather, you know, the email addresses in order to send these, you know, uh, uh, handouts and worksheets that you're going to need uh, to have filled out and your, to do your homework prior to attending. But you're going to have exam- handouts with respect to, you know, that go to goals list, being able to qualify and quantify your goals, uh, you know, how to write a goal statement. We're going to get into how to create a dream board, uh, the, the getting started guide sections will, that are going to be addressed will also be in there. Um, you're going to have a possibilities list. Now, this isn't just going to be names and contact information. This, this this form is basically going to get into detail all everything that you need to know. So you're not only going to create a bio, you're really going to c- create a whole data sheet on everything about that individual that made that names list so that 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 names list really creates has value. OK, so that when you initiate that conversation, whether it be with product or the business, you know, you can control the conversation and you can engage and you can build that trust, build that rapport, you know, e- extremely quick. So, Kevin, I'm going to go off script for one second, because uh, I always like when all of the people take advantage of, of being on these Zooms and this is critically important information. I did want to put something out there that's super exciting that relates to the leadership school, but something that we're going to start on Monday. But one of the sessions on there is um, how are, you know, BV's increasing. We're throwing gas on the fire on the IBV program. And we're doing a lot of enhancements on shop.com and cash back for UFOs and things. We'll get into that more, but I, I want to, as it relates to that topic, I'm, I'm excited about it. That's one that I'm speaking on and, and others as well, but I wanted to, this is a little bit off script, but we, we finalize it today. I just want to let everyone know that starting on Monday, on the 6th of, of February through March 13th, we are going to, this is worldwide, by the way, we're taking about 70 top selling products that people buy on a continuous basis. And we are going to enable unfranchised owners to get BV or IBV for those items. That announcement and promotion will be sent out on Friday, but I wanted you all to be the first one to hear this. We taught, we've been talking about this since late last year when we uh, started putting SNAP uh, under the shopping annuity program, if you will. But now SNAP back last year offers BV or IBV. Then soon thereafter, we added hundreds of items with BV or IBV. But this week, when you see this announcement going out on Friday, starting Monday, 
through March 13th, about 70 top selling items and it's different in each country are going to also offer BV and IBV for just that limited time between February 6th and March 13th. We're just throwing, continuously throwing gas on the fire to again, enable unfranchised owners to earn more IBV commissions. And of course, BV commissions in the plan. So we're super duper excited about that. I just wanted to get that out because we've been talking about IBV, Kevin, a lot and throwing gas in the fire. And we're really doing that. We're going to talk more about that as, at leadership as well. So it sparked something with me when you talked about it. There are less than 200 tickets available to the leadership school. And again, I think it was like 80 degrees in Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood today. What a great place to go in March. It's high season there. Get your tickets, get new people. Take, do a 30-day sprint and get new people there, existing people who are stable and waiting and make it happen. It's, this is going to be the most informative event the most hands-on event we've ever done in our 30 plus years at marketamericashop.com. And I always like to tell people, if you get your tickets, the less than a few hundred that are left, you actually have buy, buy now, pay later options where you can actually use PayPal credit and you don't have to pay for your tickets for six months with no interest. Or with Sezzle, four payments and pay over six weeks with no interest. The bottom line is you gotta be there and you gotta get your people to this event. It's gonna be unlike any other event. And we've started, we're at February 1 right now, and we are red hot and rolling. I like to use that, Jerry, you used to always say that. We are starting this year and we're red hot and rolling right out of the gate in the first month. And let's continue to build on that momentum. And Kevin, myself, the corporate team, and Lauren and our whole family, bottom line is we can't wait to see you in person at the beautiful Hard Rock Live in Hollywood, Florida, March 2nd through 4th. You got to be there and get as many people as you can to be there. It's that critically important for the growth and success of your business and your organization's business. And on behalf of Kevin, I want to thank everyone for being on this call all over the world, whether it's your evening or your morning. We're so excited to be able to present this to you and give you the first sneak peek at this incredible agenda for Leadership School, less than 30 days away. And again, we love you. We can't wait to see you in person. And please keep growing your business. We love you. Thank you.